In a hospital workshop, an ocularist moulds and paints tiny masterpieces. Each canvas a centimetre. Flecks of colour and light are carefully applied. Everything's like a fingerprint, so no patient is the same. Nicholas Pools makes the prostheses for patients who've had cancer, traumatic injuries or were born with one or no eyes. It takes about 24 hours to craft each piece. It can be a frustrating job. Um, you can spend a lot of time making an eye and you look at it and you think, no, I'm not happy with that. It means a lot to patients like Craig Fall, who was diagnosed with skin cancer on his eyelid about 15 years ago. And they took my eye and bone and um, there's mesh put back in there and skin grafts. The plumber uses an orbital prosthesis, similar to this one, for social occasions. You feel normal. You feel like no one's looking at you or staring at you or judging you, I guess. Now researchers are using 3D printing technology to make artificial eyes, building them up layer by layer. Ten patients are having 3D scans and high-resolution photographs taken so they can evaluate the look and feel of the printed eyes. We can take a photograph of the patient's existing eye, mirror it to the other side and perfectly replicate that. It takes less than an hour to print one of these prosthetic eyes. So a major benefit will be that if a patient loses or damages theirs, a replacement can be quickly made for them. Researchers are hoping to conduct a larger clinical trial. Ocularists will still be needed to fine-tune and fit the artificial eyes, meaning machines won't replace humans just yet. Emma Pollard, ABC News, Brisbane.